Let's get a little punchy. Okay, welcome back to the bench. In this episode of Design Talk by DIY3DTech.com, I want to share this design that I created. So, probably a little bit of a hint is sitting right here. This is my one-ton Arbor Press. And the piece is, I really like this a lot, and I think it's a handy tool, but how do you take these type of dies and attach them to this? It's just got this flat, uh, you know, square ram on the end of it, and I need to put different uh you know, tools, punches, dies, whatever the heck you want to call these things. This one happens to be a four-leaf clover, and I was stamp stamping onto some pennies four-leaf clovers for my grandson because he thought it was cool. So, but I need an easy way to change tools and, first off, maybe even attach tools. So I thought about this for a little bit, and then I went to Fusion 360, and I designed this guy. So kind of long story short, the opening here mates to the... Um, uh, one inch ram bottom and so I've got a you know the space here so it slides in here the ram actually stops at this base about three quarters of an inch or so down and then I've got these quarter 20 bolts that cinch to the ram to hold this on the ram it doesn't take a lot of force because the only thing that this is really doing is guiding uh, the the tool in this case is four leaf clover die now the other piece is I needed some way to hold the die in place how did I do that? Neodymium magnets. And as you can see, what happens is the die passes through. So this 3D printed piece is carrying no weight at all, or you know, experiencing really no pressure at all, uh, because it's just aligning the die to the ram head, and it's transferring the pressure down the die. That's all it's doing. So being 3D printed is, is no problem. And again, the neodymium magnets hold whatever die into place. And this becomes sort of self-centering on this edge. So I kicked around a couple different ideas and, and I have a couple of these still yet in the design phase. This one, uh, you know, as you can see, I'm running somewhere up here or there or somewhere, uh, you know, an overlay of using it. And I've used it for a while and it, it really works good. And it allows you to do use different size metal dies to go in here. You still need to be careful. And one of the pieces I did design it is so, as you can see, the top goes into this piece of plastic. So if it wants to kick out, it's going to kick against this plastic, so you just have to watch that you're not doing something that's going to kick it out from down this way. What I might do in a future version is build something that kind of loops around back in the front that'll catch it a little bit from kicking out. I haven't had a problem with it, but, you know, buyer beware, so, you know, better be safe. Um, but, as, you know, as with any shop tools, wear safety glasses and all the, you know... Uh, applicable safety stuff but anyways i thought this was a great idea um and, and again i'm going to probably make a few modifications to future versions but wanted to share this with you guys i will have this out on thingiverse so if you want to download it and print it for your arbor press great i'm also going to do something one better i'm going to put the fusion 360 file out i made the fusion 360 file parametric because a lot of people say, well, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, I can't get this size neodymium magnets. And, and it's kind of weird, especially off Amazon and online. They come in all different sizes. So I made this parametric so you can go in to Fusion 360, simply change some variables, and it automatically update the model for different size neodymium magnets. So this is a big plus. So, you know, don't worry, you know, and I have some links to some suggested neodymium magnets from uh, Amazon. Say that fast three times, neodymium, 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 I guess. But anyways, uh, that being aside, I thought it turned out pretty cool. If you thought it turned out pretty cool, give it a big thumbs up. Also, bell over there means go down there hit that bell button so you're notified when i put out content i do it regularly you guys know that what you're not a subscriber and i'm doing all this cool stuff and you're not getting it definitely hit the subscribe button jump on board and swag shops up there a lot of cool new stuff i've been adding to it lately so check it out and we'll see you guys in the next video where we do something else cool in design talk cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel